Hi, everybody. Well, thank you so much. I've had a lot of new subscribers, and boy, that's so exciting to think that more information is getting out there about mental health issues and in particular dissociation and possibly DID. So I'm, I'm really thrilled that um, some of this information is benefiting people. So please continue to share and subscribe, all the things, you know. Um, I'm here at my office, done with my work day, and a topic came up today that I thought was really valuable and that possibly people don't think about. Um, but it, it's come up time and again uh, in my experience working with people that dissociate very strongly. So OSDD, otherwise specified dissociative disorders, to DID, where there's specific different personalities. I think today the topic is more in line with DID, um, and that is about grief and um, when somebody has a big loss, whether it's a person, their animal, a move, losing a job, losing a home, that it is not just the main person or the host that is grieving. That actually all the different parts, many of them are also grieving in their own ways. So just a, a quick review of the, the stages of grief, uh, Kubler-Ross's model where there's shock and denial and bargaining and anger and sadness and acceptance. And now we have the, the newest, um, David Kessler's work, the, the sixth stage, which is um, making meaning of the loss or the death, if that's possible. So in a, a person who does not have multiples, who does not have many different personalities, just navigating through that process. And as we know, it is not linear. linear. It, it can be all over the map. And just having your own self coping with big losses is, is devastating and very difficult. Now let's compound it with many different parts. And in particular, I think what's on my heart today to share this is the little parts, the young parts, the children, the exiles often they're called. They are also grieving and in, in the person who has DID and their experience growing up in probably a very chaotic childhood or complex trauma going on, for those little children that they were, the child that they were, there may not have been support and loving arms and safety if there was a loss for them to, to heal or to process that. So compound that, here you are decades later as an adult, you have a, a major loss and you're doing your best to cope, well, so are the littles. And, and the littles can take people by surprise. The littles can bring you to your knees, literally. The, little, the littles maybe are terrified to leave the house. The littles maybe can't stop crying. Um, just so many different forms of grief can occur for the littles and for the different parts. So I, I just wanted to put that out there. We can have many more conversations about this, but just for starters, that's a concept I, I'd like, if you haven't considered that before, consider it because it's a thing. So somebody could maybe be, let's say, your friend seems to be very, okay, I'm handling this and, and I'm being, you know, I'm an adult and I'm, and I'm taking care of this loss that's happened and I'm, I'm doing my best. And all of a sudden, it's like the rug just got pulled out and even the person doesn't understand what's happening. It's the other parts have their own loss, their own relationship with whatever that was, whether it was a pet or, or a parent or a friend, grandparent. So please be kind, please be gentle, 
and be aware of, of that, that dynamic that can occur and does occur. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Talk to you next time.